Well, a very good evening from my kitchen here in Phuket. And on tonight's video, we're gonna be taking a look at how to make coconut milk. Now I have briefly touched on this before on some other recipe videos, but I wanna do a detailed video. So this is solely gonna be how we turn this into the coconut milk. Now, first off, we're gonna to need to go down the market because of course, we're gonna to need to buy some coconut, but we're not gonna buy it like this. We're gonna buy it like this. Well, I've just arrived down the market. It's just starting to rain as well. So we've just got down here in time. We've come down to get the ingredients to make the coconut milk. Now, the coconut that you have to buy to make the milk is milled in a certain way. And I'm gonna try and show you the process of that, if the lady that's doing it will allow me to film it. We're just coming up to the stall now. Now this is the coconut here, as you can see there. The way they've milled it here in this particular bowl for making the Thai desserts. And then this one is used for making the coconut milk. As you can see, it's, it's almost like coconut flakes rather than a powder. But it's milled down, they've got a machine here that they do at the market, but Nat's also got a thing at home, I'm not sure what it's called. I'm going to show you how they used to make it a long time ago in Thailand, a very old fashioned way that they used to do before they had the machines. One. So one kilo of this is 75 baht. You're going to buy half a kilo, okay. Now you can actually buy the milk from this stall as well, they do Sometimes Nat, when she can't be bothered to make it herself, they actually sell the milk here as well, as you can see. Now they're actually using a different style of coconut to the ones that you, are, you see regularly where they drink the milk from. They're more of a greener ones. These remind me more of the ones that you get in the UK. And they use the older ones for milling down to make the coconut flakes, I guess you call it. Nat's trying to get also one of these coconuts because we want to show you the way that they used to make it. I think the, the guy's gonna let her have one of these coconuts. Yeah, he's gonna sell her one of the coconuts. Okay, that's great. Now that'll allow us to show you how the Thai people used to make this powder that this guy's making with the machine now. Cup and cap, thank you. Okay, so there's a couple of different ways that these people do it. As you can see, this guy here cutting the coconuts open. Okay, Nat's just going to start to clean up the coconut that we bought down the market this morning. Just taking off the loose husk on the outer part, cleaning it up a little bit. Then she's going to break it open, allow the coconut juice to come out and then demonstrate the method that the Thais used to use to make the coconut so they could make the milk out of it. So this is the piece of equipment we're going to be using today to make the coconut. Uh, flakes I suppose you'd call it rather than a powder because it's not quite as fine as a powder basically what we've got is three pieces of wood a long flat piece on the top then two shorter pieces which actually acts as a seat and then on the end of here there is a blade a rounded blade serrated piece of metal I guess you'd call it I don't know how well you can see that but it's just a piece of metal that's been rounded off and it's got like teeth all the way around it, like a saw basically. So this is what they used to use before the machines. Okay, that's now gonna break open the coconut. Hopefully we can capture, capture the milk. Change of plan. Okay, there you go. Cracked it open. I'm going to save all the milk or the juice out of it. I'm 
Okay, Nat's going to now demonstrate. Start, slide it first from this. If you uh, for a time, you mean, let's say to me, they just put your Be careful of your hands, I would imagine, because that's sharp. So, this is quite a labour intensive way of doing it. We need half a kilo of coconut. We're only doing this for demonstration purposes, we're not going to do all of it because we've already bought some coconut, and then you can see that it grates it off basically. It's, it, I suppose you'd call it a grater. And there is exactly what we bought this morning, but all very, very similar. They obviously now use a machine for doing this. So years ago, this is how they used to do the coconut flakes. And then from this, they make the coconut milk, which we will show you step by step how to do it. Now, of course, if you can buy the coconut already grated, I suppose, for a better term, then it's going to be a lot easier than having to do this process, of course. They are still used in a lot of places where, the, far from the cities and the towns, people still use these to do this with the coconuts, to make um, the coconut flakes and then turn that into the coconut milk. Now, a thought just occurred to me. I've just been sitting eating some coconut like I used to in England. Of course, we can't get in England the young coconuts. We tend to get the older ones, which is, of course, these type, the dark brown coconuts, rather than the light green ones that they have over in Thailand. Of course, these are young, what they call young coconuts, and they're nice and fresh. These ones are older. Now, the difference between the two coconuts is the flesh, basically. In the older ones, the flesh, or the coconut, actual coconut itself, is a lot harder, and that's why they can grate it, whereas the young ones, the flesh is very soft, and they wouldn't be able to grate that. But while I was just eating a few of these pieces of coconut, a thought had occurred to me that maybe you could be able to grate these in a food processor. So it just so happens that I do own a food processor that I bought over from England and what I've basically done is I've set it up with the grater on the top and then you just drop the pieces of coconut through the tube and hopefully we're going to get grated coconut very similar to what we've bought down the market. I don't know, I'm just sitting there eating the coconut and then I thought I wonder whether you could do it with the food processor. So we're going to have a go basically. I'm just going to put a couple of pieces of coconut in here and see what happens. First of all, see whether it will grate it down. Ooh. Piece got stuck there. Just take that out. Pop that back in. It looks like it's going to work, but you do have to be careful doing the pieces like this. Maybe chop them down. As you can see now, if Nat comes in and brings the camera up, I probably could have done with using the finer one. I've used the slightly coarser one because I wasn't sure which one to use, but I do have a fi fine attachment as well. You can see I've used, that's the coarser one and then the finer one's on the other side. So I should have used the finer one, but for demonstration purposes, I think I've proved that you can use a food processor and get a very similar result. Okay, now we're gonna go through the steps of actually turning the shredded or grated coconut into the actual milk, and Nat is gonna go through the procedure and what you need to do. Okay, so we're now gonna start the process of making the actual coconut milk. So what I have here in front of me is half a kilo of grated, shredded, flakes, whatever you want to describe it as, of coconut. We also have some hot water. How many milliliters we got there? 400, 400 milliliters. And she's now going to pour that into half a kilo of the grated coconut. 
and now she's going to add another is this hot or cold? cold so this is cold water now she's going to add another 200 milliliters of normal temperature room temperature water okay. and now she's going to start to make the actual milk so all she's basically doing is mixing the warm water with the cooler water through the coconut if you look there you can start to see the coconut is now turning the water to a coconut milk you just need to work it through for a few minutes squeezing the coconut the water through the coconut letting it all absorb So now she's compressing the coconut, draining out as much of the water as she can out of that and then putting it to one side. But she hasn't finished with this yet. There's going to be a second procedure that she's going to do. She's going to do it again, exactly the same. We do it twice. And then what's left in the bottom of the bowl, she will then strain. And that will be the first batch of coconut milk. So at this stage don't discard the coconut that is not finished with so have a separate tray or bowl to put that coconut in and keep that because we're going to do exactly the same again in a moment and this is where we get the two lots of coconut milk. And basically this is going to have a stronger and go on, let me just show that. This is going to have a stronger taste because this is the first batch. And she will strain that now to take any remaining coconut out as regards the flakes. Let that strain through. Again, save any coconut that's left over in the strainer or the sieve. Okay, now she's going to put the whole lot back in and do exactly the same. Are you going to use the hot water the same? No. Just normal room temperature water this time. Yeah. So how much have we got there? We're going to measure it out. So the first run was 600 milliliters. The second run is... 800 milliliters of water. Are you going to use all that? Yes. Okay, so there's going to, she's now going to put 800 milliliters into it again. So the first run was 600, the second one is 800. Much more, Anne? Are you, are you going to put another 200? So that's a litre in total on the second run. So she's going to measure out 200 milliliters. So now we've had one liter of water. This is normal room temperature water that's gone into it. So we're actually making just over one and a half liters of coconut milk because we've got 600 milliliters in here, which is the first one. And then we've got a liter of water that's gone into this one. And again, she's going to work all the coconut through. But you can take your time and let the coconut sit in that water and really infuse it with the flavour so that you get a, a stronger taste in coconut milk basically. Now Nat will discard this coconut, we don't use it, but you can actually use it if you want in something like desserts or something like that. But we're not making any desserts at the moment so Nat's just going to discard it. It's just purely to make the coconut milk. And then of course you can use the coconut milk in dishes like Tom Kha Gai, which is what we're making it for at the moment, and other dishes that require coconut milk. Okay, now we have two jugs of coconut milk and the reason why we have two jugs is this is the first batch that Nat made and we have just over, well actually it's reading 700 millilitres exactly. 
that was the first batch and she added 600 millilitres of water and that's what we've got from it and then this is the second batch which she added um, one litre of water so she added 800 and then another 200 millilitres and that has produced 700 millilitres which gives us a total of 1400 millilitres now the reason why we have the two batches is this one I'm not quite sure whether you'll be able to see it on the camera but this is actually a little bit more creamier than the second batch now Nat keeps them separate and the ties do so you've got your first batch your second batch now this is of course fresh coconut milk and you not saying not really to keep it longer than 24 hours you can keep it in the fridge but not longer than 24 hours because it's fresh straight from the coconut there's no preservatives whatsoever it won't really keep longer than 24 hours so stick it in the fridge use it the same day Nat normally uses it in the evening she makes it in the morning and then uses it in the evening when she's cooking whatever she may be cooking that requires coconut milk so of course you can make smaller batches if you want to do so make a smaller amount but you'll end up with two lots the same and uh, just a less amount depending on how much you're cooking how many people you're cooking what dishes you're cooking etc okay well i hope you've enjoyed this short look at how to turn actual coconut into the coconut milk i don't want to make a too long a video on this it's a simple procedure as you've seen very straightforward quick and easy if you can get the coconut milled or grated whatever you want to call it in that particular way then you're going to be able to make fresh coconut milk which is going to taste a whole lot better than store-bought coconut milk that's for sure especially in your thai cooking well from me until next time, you take care and I'll catch you on the next one.